What is up? What is up? What is up, everybody? This is your boy, Is Nefarious, and I am here for another episode of Calling You. Before we dive into it, if you're loving the content, hit the like button down below. Leave a comment on what you want next. And then also hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you know exactly when we're dropping videos. This is going to be a great episode. Like, nope, we're in off. So it's probably not going to be as crazy as the gameplay. Uh, we get the whole offseason to do. We do have the playoffs. We do have the end of season stats. So first, let's do that. Let me show you some of the end of season stats with the Patriots. And then we'll also show you some of the stats uh, between the rest of the league and how other people perform. All right. So here we are with my franchise tool. And this is what I'm going to use to show the stats because the game was a little glitchy uh, with the stats. And it wasn't showing some players that, you know, were uh, registering. And it was weird. So... I'm going to go with the my first. So for yardage, uh, the top five quarterbacks, you got Aaron Rodgers with 4,697. Drake May with 4,686. Jared Goff with 4,683. Uh, Patrick Mahomes with 4,505. Jaden Daniels with 4,357. Uh, to round out the uh, top 10, you got Josh Allen, CJ Stroud, Bo Nix. <coughs> Excuse me. Jordan Love and Justin Herbert. You got three rookies in that list. Drake May, Jaden Daniels, and Bowen Nix. Uh, pretty impressive for the three rookies to be there. Taking a look at the touchdowns, the top five, you got Aaron Rodgers with 31. You got Brock Purdy with 29. Joe Burrow with 29. Patrick Mahomes with 29. And Jared Goff with 29. Drake May, just outside the top five, has 25. Bryce Young in the top 10 has 27. You got Caleb Williams, Josh Allen, and Trevor Lawrence to wrap it up. And then you got Derek Carr and CJ Stroud tied for number nine, I believe, with 26. Actually, all the way up to number eight, which is touchdown. Taking a look at interceptions, leader in the league was CJ Stroud with 23. He had 26 touchdowns, 23 interceptions. Uh, Josh Allen had 19. Gardner Minshew had 19. Justin Fields had 19. Joe Burrow had 18. You had 18 with Will Levis. Then 17 with Dak Prescott. 17 with Drake May. 9 with Kyler. Um, 16 with Kyler Murray. And then 16 with Jordan Love. That was your top 10. Interception percentage. Uh, Jacoby Brissett was the highest. And then Kenny Slovis. Desmond Ritter. But that doesn't really matter at this point. Who was the most sacked quarterback in the league? The most sacked was Bo Nix. Um, he was the most sacked, followed by Derek Carr, Jaden Daniels, Will Levis, and Trevor Lawrence. The best passer rating in the league actually goes to, I don't know if that's 100% uh, correct. Brock Purdy had a 100 passer rating with 29 TDs and 8 interceptions. Kirk Cousins had a 94.5. Patrick Mahomes with 94.3. Jared Goff with a 94.2. Skylar Thompson with a 93.3, but he didn't play that many games, so we're going to skip over him. Number five was Aaron Rodgers with a 93.1. To finish out the top 10, you had Caleb Williams, uh, Bryce Young, Lamar Jackson, Drake May, and Geno Smith. Uh, so those were your top 10. As you can see, Drake May in the top 10 for mostly everything. Most rushing yards in the season, we had Christian McCaffrey with 1,552. He averaged uh, 5.4 yards a carry. Then you had Nick Chubb. B. John Robinson, Devin Singletary, and Saquon Barkley. Um, Madre Stevenson was in the top 10 with 1,152 yards. So he had a good season. He had a really solid season. Antonio Gibson had 769. He had a solid season. Uh, taking a look at the TDs, the most TDs was Devin Singletary with 13. Then you had Blake Corum with 12. Christian McCaffrey, Nick Chubb, uh, Saquon Barkley, and Ramondre Stevenson all had 11. Alexander, um, Alexander Madison had 10. You had nine from Ray Davis and uh, Jonathan Brooks. Elijah Mitchell had eight, and he was tied with a but, uh, plethora of players here uh, from Tony Pollard, uh, Kenneth Walker, Michael Carter, Jonathan Taylor, Joshua Kelly, and Maje P. Ryan, all tied with eight. Uh, most fumbles on a year, the one guy you can't trust, it was actually you got a bunch of quarterbacks. Who's the first running back on this? Travis Etienne had five fumbles. And he was actually tied with uh, Kendall uh, Milton. And then Roshan Johnson had four. So. Receiving. Receiving your top 10 in receiving. When it came to yardage, you had Amon Ross St. Brown, oh, Brown with 1,524. Keenan Allen was number two. Joshua Palmer was number three. Tyreek Hill was number four. Number five was Gabe 
Gabe Davis, all with 1,200 plus uh, yards. Uh, then you had Alan Lazard, who had a really good season. Terry McLaurin, Jacoby Myers, if you can see. Uh, Jaden Reed, Travis Kelsey in that top 10. Uh, our, our New England Patriot that had the most was Jalen Polk with 926 yards. So close to that 1,000-yard uh, season, but yet so far. Uh, who else do we have? Uh, we could do... No, we're not going to do that. We're going to go to touchdowns. Monra was the number one with 14. Then you had Keenan Allen with 11. Debo Samuel, Rasheed Rice, Allen Lazard, and Ian Thomas all had 10. Then you had Jalen Waddle with 9. Joshua Palmer, Josh Downs, and Kyle Pitts. Uh, as, uh, as well as Wondell Robinson, DK Metcalf, Deand uh, DeAndre Hopkins, and Travis Kelsey. Actually, he stops at DeAndre Hopkins. All had 8. So we, you had a bunch of guys with 8 there. Most receptions in the league. It's going to be Joshua Palmer with 104. Then you had Amon Ross St. Brown with 99. Uh, Travis Kelsey, Rasheed Rice were out there, 93 and 91. Uh, our leading receiver on the Patriots. Who's our leading receiver? As we scroll down, we scroll down. I don't think. Uh, Hunter Henry. Hunter Henry is the first one that comes up with 54. 54 receptions. So we uh, we spread the ball around pretty well. We didn't, we didn't focus on one guy. Tackles. Uh, Cody Barton. We're going to just go to the first Patriot on the list. Most of the guys here. The first Patriot on this list for tackles was Kyle Duggar with 105. Had a good season. Tackles for loss. You had 26 from Lulu. You had 26 from Keon White. Uh, sacks, 17 and a half for Khalil Mack. He led the league. Uh, Shoyanka had 16, 15 and a half for Miles Garrett. 15 for uh, Charles uh, Amenahu. Uh, Alex Highsmith had 14 and a half. Michael Parsons with 13, and he was injured for a while. Uh, then you had 12 for Harold Landry. Greg Rousseau with 11 and a half. Chris Jones with 11 and a half. You had 11 from Baron Browning, Brian Burns, and Josh Allen. Keon White was our leader with 10 and a half. So he was busy this season with sacks. Taking a look at the interceptions. Interceptions, the lead in, in, uh, the, lead in the league was Joshua Williams, followed by Marlon Humphrey. They both had se uh, seven. Max Mullen had six, D. Alford had six, then Jalen Johnson, Teron Johnson had five, along with uh, Kater Coho and Ennis uh, Rickenstraw Jr. You had Nate Wiggins with five, Cody, uh, Kobe Bryant with five, and Jarius Steve with five. Our leading reception getter was Jonathan Jones, and then Marco Wilson was number two. Remember, Marco Wilson uh, had a really good year for us, uh, at least for me, he had a really good year. Uh, pass deflections, they don't register really well, so it's a waste of time to even talk about it. Um, but those are the stats. And as far as your teams that are in the playoffs, you're gonna we're going to show it here. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to stay on this because there's nothing we really have to do on the game side. So we're just going to stay on this and then flip back and forth uh, them a week, load it up, show you where we're at when it comes to um, the franchise. So we'll jump back and forth. We're going to sim it, watch the playoff bracket, try to go through some of the scores and uh, talk about some of the games, and then we'll pick it back up uh, every every week at the start of every week. So let's jump forward. Let's jump into next week. Let's see who makes it to the division. All right. With the uh, the wild card round done, you had the Cleveland Browns baiting the Pittsburgh Steelers to move on to the second round. You had the Baltimore Ravens taking out the New York Jets. Uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers lost 20 to 10, by the way. 20 for the Browns, 10 for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, the Jets lost 17 to 13. And then you had the Bengals edging out a victory against the Jags. 23 to 20 was the final there. So you're going to have the Baltimore Ravens and the Kansas City Chiefs on one side. And then you have the Bengals and the Browns on the other. Taking a look at the NFC side of things, you had the Commanders beating the Falcons 20 to 17. You had the Cardinals beating the Rams 26 to 20. And then you had the 49ers. Beating the Cowboys 24 to 13 with the final score there. If you want to go through some of the stats, we can go over here to the schedule or we can actually that. I think it's gonna yep. Gonna go postseason. Oh, it includes it includes the postseason. So we can't just go by postseason stats. We would have to go to the game, go back to the wild card round, take a look at the box score. Um, we're not going to waste too much time doing that. Uh, not really worth it. We'll talk about it at the end. Um, but we're going to jump into uh, next week and see who makes it to the championship. The championship round is here. 
The Kansas City Chiefs took out the Baltimore Ravens 30 to 15 was the final there. The Browns took out the Bengals 19 to 14 was the final there. Looking over at the NFC side of things, the Commanders took out the number one seed Lions 31 to 7 was the final score. And then the 49ers took out the Cardinals 22 to 19 was the final score of that one. I want to take a look at some of these games because what happened? In that divisional round, who led the way for the Commanders? The Commanders won. Jaden Daniels had uh, 269 yards in the TD, no picks. Uh, he also had, he actually had only negative one rushing yard. He had one TD from uh, Carter there. Devontae Parker with the uh, receiving TD. Must have been some plays defensively. You had one defensive TD for uh, uh, Farrell there. I'm not sure who that is uh, specifically. You had some tackles for loss. You had a forced fumble, a fumble recovery. You had a, a, a couple sacks. I don't see where no interceptions. It doesn't look like any interceptions on the defense. Uh, the defense played really, really well. That looks like it was the story of the game. And Jaden Daniels just did enough. So Jaden Daniels, in his rookie year, putting up a good season and making it to the conference championship. What a job by Jaden Daniels to do that. Uh, you had Brock Purdy. He's back. This 49ers team might uh, go all the way with Brock Purdy back. I don't know when they're getting Christian McCaffrey. If they're even getting him back, um, it would be a big, uh, you know, a big come up if Christian McCaffrey comes back. Uh, Kyler Murray tried his best. 71 yards on the ground and a touchdown. And then he also had 246 a touchdown and an interception. So he tried his best, but it's not enough to deal with that 49er team. Uh, taking a look here. Gonna exit that out. Uh, the Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes, two touchdowns, no picks, 177 yards. Who is Bailey? Amani Bailey, rookie, absolutely doing work. He had 186 yards in the touchdown. Travis Kelsey did his thing. Uh, you had uh, Marquise Brown with a touchdown. You had uh, Rasheed Rice with a touchdown as well. Defensively, you had no TDs, but you did have a couple interceptions. So not a good day from uh, Lamar Jackson, as you can see there. Two interceptions, 284 yards, a touchdown. Um, and then you had 123 yards from Nelson Aguilar, but not a good day for the Ravens there. Um, going back, the last game we want to look at, we want to look at the uh, Browns and the Bengals. Joe Burrow against Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson went, uh, went for 238 and two interceptions. And still won. That's impressive. Joe Burrow had a touchdown in an interception. Kareem Hunt had a touchdown against his whole team. Um, then you also had a receiving touchdown from uh, Scott there. I think that's Boston Scott. On the other side, no uh, receiving touchdowns. We had one rushing touchdown for Nick Chubb and one for Sean Watson. Defensively, that's where the game was won. You're going to see you had no, actually no fumbles. And then you had Quandre Diggs with an interception. You had two the two interceptions between Daxon Hill and um, Mike Hilton there. So it's a low-scoring, impressive win for the Cleveland Browns. But let's jump into the Super Bowl. Actually, we get the Pro Bowl first. We'll show you the Pro Bowl rosters, and then we'll jump into the Super Bowl so we can take a look at who makes it to the big show. All right, so we had to pick it back up on the game. I'm going to show you who made the Pro Bowl for uh, both sides. Jared Goff, Lamar Jackson. We had Kirk Cousins, Josh Allen, Jaden Daniels in his first season making the Pro Bowl, and Aaron Rodgers to round up the quarterbacks. No Drake May. Uh, when it comes to the running backs, you had Devin Singletary and Nick Chubb, Tony Pollard and Saquon Barkley, Ramondre Stevenson, and uh, B. John Robinson to wrap that out. So we got our first Patriot there. Uh, we're not going to talk about the quarterbacks. No, but we not cares. Uh, Amon Ross St. Brown and uh, Joshua Palmer. You had Gabe Davis and Keenan Allen, Alan Lazard and Jaden Reed. Like I said, Jaden uh, Alan Lazard had a really good season. Tyree Kill and Jackson Smith and, J and Najigba. You also had uh, Romeo Dobbs and Jaden Waddle. Then you had Jacoby Myers and um, Mingo there. I forgot his first name. Uh, tight ends, you had Kyle Pitts and John Smith. Dalton Kincaid and Ian Thomas. Uh, tight end three, you had Pat Fairmuth and Sam LaPorta. Then you had Tristan Wirfs and Armstead. Uh, Matthews, Jake Matthews and Rashawn Slater. You had Tyron uh, Smith, I believe that's Tyron Smith, and Joe Bonito. Uh, ben, uh, Betonium, Betonium. I don't know why I say Benito. I just jumped to conclusions. 
Quentin Nelson and uh, Jenkins there. You had Frank Ragnow and Ted Karras. You had, I think that's, I don't know. I'm not too sure. And uh, I think that's Chad McGover, uh, McGovern. Uh, you had Chris Lindstrom and Wyatt Teller. Brendan Sheriff and Zach Martin. Uh, Troy Brown, not Troy Brown. Uh, Trent Brown and Penny Suo. You had uh, Havenstein and Harrison. You had Musso and Jordan. Landry and uh, Farrell. You had Garrett and Lou, uh, Lugu. You had Vaughn Miller and uh, Thomas there. You had Josh Allen and Buckner. But Marcus Lawrence, uh, Dexter Lawrence, not the Marcus. Dexter Lawrence and uh, Quentin, uh, Quentin Williams. You had Deion Jones. No, that ain't Deion Jones. Uh, I thought it was linebacker for a second. It's Jones. I'm trying to remember the first name. And then you had Shepard, a 72 overall, making the Pro Bowl. Khalil Mack and Shoyanka. You had Highsmith and Hutchinson. You had David and Barton. You had Olakun and uh, Enzalone. Enzalone. You had uh, Josh Allen, the other Josh Allen, Brian Burns, Arnold Ebikidi, and Logan uh, Logan Wilson, I think. Uh, you had Coho and Alford. You had Rankin Shaw Jr. and Emerson. You had Humphrey and Kendrick. You had Johnson and Melton. You had uh, Pinnock. Davis, Ashton Davis, you had Thornhill and Woods, you had uh, Bryant and Metellus, Hamilton and Bullard, Sanders and Aubrey, uh, and then this this is just return stuff, so we don't we don't really get them. But that is the AFC and NFC Pro Bowl teams for the first season. Some surprising names on that list. Um, but let's jump into the Super Bowl. Uh, we could already see at the top who's in there, but we're gonna pick it back up on the. Uh, Franchise two, who won? It's the Chiefs and the uh, 49ers in the Super So the Cinderella run for Jaden Daniels falls short at the conference championship. A good season for him. The Chiefs trying to repeat again, and they do it. Let's take a look at the yearly awards. The NFL MVP was Jared Goff. He was number one. He won the MVP. Coach of the year was Raheem um, Morris. Taking a look at the a AFC, Joshua Palmer was the Offensive Player of the Year. Khalil Mack, Defensive Player of the Year. You had Drake May, the Offensive Rookie of the Year. You had Latou, who was the Defensive Rookie of the Year. Patrick Mahomes won Best QB in the AFC. Nick Chubb, Best Running Back in the AFC. Alan Lazard, Best uh, Wide Receiver in the AFC. You had uh, Reed Humphrey as the Best O-Line in the AFC. Best D-Line, Miles Garrett. Best linebacker to look at. Best DB, Joshua Williams. Jason Saunders took the best kicker. NFC, you had Amon Ross St. Brown, best uh, offensive player of the year. Defensive player of the year, you had uh, Shoyanka. Um, when it comes to the offensive rookie of the year, you had Caleb Williams. Defensive rookie of the year, you had uh, Rankin Straw Jr. You had Brock Purdy as the best QB. Christian McCaffrey as the best running back. Best wide receiver, Amon Ross St. Brown. Chris Lindstrom as the best O-line, best D-line, Cameron Jordan. Best linebacker, Shoyanka. And Kobe Bryant as the best DB. The best kicker was McLaurin um, for Tampa Bay. So those are your yearly awards. Let's jump forward, and then I'm going to pick it up on the other side with the My Franchise 2 to go over who won. All right, so I was going to go on the My Franchise 2, but I'll get to that in a second. We're going to stay on the game itself. Because you get the 2024 recap and it kind of breaks down everything for you. Uh, the final score of the Super Bowl, the Chiefs uh, won again. 34-28 to was the final score. Uh, the Super Bowl MVP, Patrick Mahomes. Jared Goff was the NFL MVP, as we said. Coach of the Year actually was Zach Taylor. Uh, Offensive Player of the Year was uh, Amon Ross St. Brown. Defensive Player of the Year, Khalil Mack. Uh, Offensive Rookie of the Year, Caleb Williams. Beats out Drake May. And then the defensive rookie of the year was Ennis Rankin-Straw Jr. So those were your award winners in total for the 2024 season. So is that is that three Super Bowls? That's three Super Bowls in a row for the Chiefs. The dynasty is uh, real and it's continuing. Um, that's five Super Bowls in the last, what? So 2024, 2023, 2022, 2021. It was the Rams. It was the um but, so in the last one, three, four, five, six years, they have four Super, four Super Bowls in that uh, that little stint there. 
because you can see the Patriots back when Tom Brady was there, and then the Broncos uh, way back. But great run by the, the Chiefs. Another Super Bowl win. Um, now we got the staff week, and there's a bunch of stuff we have to do on the My Franchise too before we continue on. So let's jump over, jump over to that so I can show you what we're doing there, and then we'll jump forward. All right, here we are in the My Franchise tool. It breaks down a little bit more. Aaron Donald, uh, he's already retired. I don't know why it's saying he's retired now. Uh, Lane Vanda Esch, Matt Ryan. This might have been actually this past offseason. I'm a little confused because Aaron Donald was already retired. I think Matt, da Matt Ryan was already retired as well. So, Leighton Van Der Esch retired six seasons. Um, but, besides that, you can see the draft board on the right-hand side. We're going to go all the way to the tools. So, view tool schedule. Right now, we're going to do the stats matter tool, remove all injuries, motivations generator, um, clear cap space tool, and export season data. So, that's the list of the tools that we have to do on this exact week. So we're going to do with the stats matter tool. We're going to run that by changing changes. So it's going to show us some of the changes with the stats matter tool. Now we're applying the right, uh, ratings edit. All right. With the ratings edit, um, with the stats matter, Brock Purdy went up to a 90. Christian McCaffrey went up to a 96. George Kittle went 93. Brandon Ayuka went down to 89. Debo went down to 86. Jake Moody regressed to uh actually regressed to 74 caleb williams went from a 79 to an 82 keenan allen from an 88 to a 92 uh you had some regression dj moore went down um you can see a bunch of different ones uh so let's see what the patriots have exactly that's that's who we're most interested in so we're gonna go down and try to find our patriots uh Kyle Pitts regress uh where is the patriots all right so here we are with the patriots uh, Hunter Henry went from a 78 to 82. Uh, Caden Wallace went from a 67 to a 70. Keon White, went, Keon White went from a 71 to a 74. Christian Barmore went from an 80 to a 77. So that's big movement there. Brock Bowers went up. Let's, uh, oh, we got more Patriots. No, we don't got much more Patriots there. I thought we had more Patriots for a second. Uh, any other big names? We're going to close it. Question report. It doesn't really tell it there. Um, so we did the stats matter tool. That's done. We got to do the remove all injuries. Boom. Move injuries. Everybody's healthy. Uh, motivation generator. Want to generate that. So that's going to change. That's going to update motivations for older players. That's going to do all kinds of stuff that make it more realistic. Uh, clear cap space tool. So this tool uh, cuts players who qualify. Uh, Alright, so this is uh, to make it more realistic. Okay, so uh, it's just to make it more realistic. It's not just to... Hold on. want to include... Don't want to exclude uh, the user seat. So clear cap space. So it's taken a realistic approach. Uh, restructured old contract. All right. Anything for the Patriots? Exactly. Juju Smith Schuster. Nothing. He was released actually. Uh, Sam Roberts released. Andrew Stuber released. The Darian Low was released. So some big releasings there. So we might not include that next time. But we didn't want to keep Juju anyway. So, I mean, that, that helps us. What else do we got? We got the uh, export season data. So that's just to make sure that this, uh, the stats from last season are going to be available to us when we move forward. So we're going to have 2024, 2025. is going to show there soon. And that's it. Those are all the tools that we had to run. Uh, let's go to the tool list. What's the next set of tools? Uh, Resigning week. We got to match the scheme and balance rosters. And then off off season free agency one, we gotta adjust the trade block, do trade lottery, all that good stuff. So let's jump back over to uh, the franchise itself, and let's advance. Um, let's handle staff week, and then we'll advance to the next week. All right, so here we are. I want to show you some staff week. Uh, Vance Jones was fired. Uh, Kafka was fired. Getsy was fired. 
It's a bunch of guys that were fired here. Uh, Kevin O'Connell with Wes Phillips. Brian Flores was fired. Um, Vikings hired Brian Johnson. Brian Dayball was fired as a Giants coach. So you have a bunch of moves. We're going to stand pat. There's nobody we're going to fire or move at this time. I think we did pretty well um, when it comes to our team for what it is. Uh, for a rebuild season, we went 7-10. and 10, So I'm, I'm not too mad at it. Uh, so let's advance week to resign stage. We've got to resign some players. Some big players we've got to resign. We also got to balance the roster and move some stuff around. <clears throat> so here we are. We already, uh, let's take a look at some new retirements. Uh, Justin Pugh, Ace Keenum, uh, Danico Autry, Latavius Murray, Russ Wilson's retiring, Lakin Tomlinson, Demario Davis, David Mayo. Uh, what else? We got Andy Dolan, Stefan Gilmore. Anybody else that's big? Tyrod Taylor. Aaron Rodgers finally calls it a career. Juan James. Quentin Williams retires. Calais Campbell. Jake Matthews. Brandon Graham. Jordan Poyer. Zach Martin's gone. Uh, Von Miller retires. Joe Flacco. The great Joe Flacco retires. Oh. Backed out accidentally. So let's go back to that. We're way down the list a little bit, so let's get there. Let's race, let's race, let's race. Uh, McClough, Joe Fack, Flacco, we already talked about. Al Woods, Brandon Williams, Michael Thomas, uh, the safety. Joe Thomas, the Dominican Sue. Who else we got? We got anybody else? Anybody? JPP retired. Ty Montgomery, Colt McCoy, Mercedes Lewis, Jimmy Graham, Julio Jones. Who's serving? Melvin Ingram, Brian, uh, Brian Hoyer, Team Hicks, Lawrence Guy, retired Marquise Goodwin, Nick Foles, Eric Fisher. Pretty long list here. Benny Curry, um, Mason Crosby, Randy Cobb. What else we got? Brandon Bolden. That's pretty much it for at least uh, Michael Brockers, for Marcus Cannon, uh, Randall Cobb, like I said, Mason. Crosby, Ben Curry, so some interesting names on that list that retired. Uh, now we are in the re-sign stage. We've got to sign some players. Remember, we have a rule. If it's red, we can't even attempt. So Tyquan Thornton will be a free agent. A free agent. We're not going to attempt. Andrew McGrone, not going to attempt. Malcolm Brown, not going to attempt. Uh, Kevin Harris. Deron Harmon, we can't attempt to bring him back. We're going to let him walk. He's older. Jelani Tabai, how do we feel about Jelani Tabai? We bring him back. We'll come back to him in a second. The Brill Peppers, we can go at in free agency, but we can't re-sign him at this time because he's yellow. Ramondre Stevenson, we can bring back. He's a superstar. He is a superstar running back. What abilities did he get? So he got recuperation and short out elite. I mean, had a good season. I mean, there's no reason not to bring him back. Um, he wants going to be a 5.34, two years on the contract. Ooh. Ooh, do we go after Ramondre Steve? A five mil captain. You know what? I think he deserves a contract. Perfect. We got him. Ramondre Stevenson's coming back. Uh, Jelani Tavai will get back to him. If Matthew Judon wants to come back. He's a star dev. Do like Matthew Judon. He's not a big cap hit. Two years. Low, um, low risk, high reward. He can still perform. Let's go. I enjoy playing for you, but he's going to test for you. You see, we weren't going to overextend for him. So he's gone unless we franchise tag. Cam Robinson, we can't get him now. we got to go in free agency. Josh Ute, we've got a chance to get him. Let's go with a very low uh, risk type of offer. Or do we go with a player friendly? Josh Uche, do we do we extend? We just lost Matthew Judon, so we kind of gotta extend a little bit. We gotta at least retain him. Oh, just going off. Do we go with a player friendly, or do we go with a very friendly? Player? Jumps from six point three, six point eight, then seven mil, seven mil, eight point one five. Do we think he's worth it? He's twenty six now. Do we go with a low risk? Do we go with a high risk? Um, what? Do we have his player card? Can we look at some of the stats he might have put up this season? So 2024, he had three sacks. How many games? 
show it on this. And we see uh, he played eight games. Oh, he played less. He played less than half a season. Do we commit to a guy that played less half a season than uh, less than half a season? We'll come back to it in a second. We'll see if we're gonna keep. Uh, we're gonna play him. Like I said, we'll come back to Josh Uche, KJ Osborne. I think he had a good season. Uh, he just wants one year, 2.2 cap hit. I mean, we got Demario Douglas, we got Kendrick Bourne, who we still have. Jalen Polk had a really, really good uh, season for us. Do we keep KJ Osborne? Ugh. Oh, it's tough. It's a tough call. It's a tough call. KJ was decent. Let me take a look at the same thing. I know he was injured for a little bit. So, again, liability. So, he had 13, uh, 31 receptions, 454, three touchdowns. Had a really solid season for us. Go to general. So, we can see how many games he played. He played 12 games. He missed. Missed five. 28. We're going to hold off for now on KJ Osborne. We're going to reevaluate the wide receiver. KJ Osborne, I think, had a good season, but he was just a placeholder. We're going to see if we can get a little bit younger. I like Jalen Polk. Uh, Javon Baker's still there. Uh, we've got some interesting guys. Uh, Javon Godshaw is probably going to go for us. I don't think he's worth it. it was he healthy? In general, he played all 17 games, so he was healthy. What does he want for a contract? 4.5. 4.4? 4.4? You could go back to Louisiana where it's close to home. You ain't okay and not giving you 4.4 mil. Not I gotta go. Yeah. 4.4 mil in a cap hit? No. No, 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 no. We'll get we'll get you at the minimum. Alright, so that's it. So do we bring back Josh Uche? There's no way we can replace two edge rushers, so we gotta bring back Josh Uche, even though he wasn't um, you know, extremely healthy. We're going to go with a low risk. Play it friendly, but all right, perfect. We got Josh Uche. Josh Uche comes back. Do we bring back Jelani Tavai? Taki Taki was really good. We still got Jawan Bentley. Um, so it's, it'd be tough to say, bring him back. We're not going to franchise tag Matthew Judon. He's not worth it. The Grill Peppers is gone. Do we franchise now? The We can't try to resign some of these guys. But we can franchise tax them. The guys that really don't want to sign them. can franchise. Is there anybody worth a franchise? I don't think so. We're going to hold off. We're going to go into free agency and try to uh, get some more pieces there. But that's going to complete our re-sign stage. I'm going to probably end the video here. And make sure it's not too long. Because I feel like it could get too long when you do all this off-season stuff. So I'm going to end it here, I'm going to pick it back up in free agency week one, and then continue. That'll be part two of the offseason. This will be part one. So if you're enjoying the video and the content, please hit that like button down below. Comment on what you would like to see. And also hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notifications so you can get all of this great content and great videos. I am Mr. Ferris and I am on.